Hi everyone, this is Mike Moo here, and we are unboxing the Maono Caster K2. This is a Kickstarter campaign that my brother had actually backed, and he allowed me to go ahead and check it out. For those of you guys that don't know, I actually run my own podcast right now called Mooster Tech. You can check it out on any major podcasting platform. For that, I use a Rodecaster Pro. That itself is over $700 for the mixer alone. You'll find out shortly why the Maono Caster Solo Bundle is a much better deal. This is, of course, from Kickstarter. And I went and looked online to see how much the Kickstarter was. It was $189 for the solo bundle. And that is the idea is that you're a solo podcaster. Uh, they had other bundles as well. But this bundle itself was specifically $189. Now, opening up the box, you see this big letter over here that is actually a letter to backers of my auto caster. And I go over this in a little bit about what is going on with this. And it looks like it's a letter from Alex Liu, who's the founder and CEO of Maono Technology, letting you know exactly that they ran into some problems producing the AU-AM100 and why there was a little bit of a delay in producing it. Now, as I find out a little bit later as I'm testing this, that there is an occasional audio playback error when connected Mac OS devices. I also came across an issue with it while I was recording with Camtasia Studio as well. Now, I do believe that these things can be fixed through a firmware update or a driver update, but at this point in time, February 24, 2021, uh, I ran into the issues right out of the box from the Mono Caster. Now, if I had my PC, here, I can go ahead and try to load up a new firmware, but I wasn't able to test that as of today, February 24th. Now, if you, if anybody viewing this finds out later that they do get it or uh, get the fix for it, firmware fix for it so that there's no audio issues with Mac OS, please do let me know. My other video is actually recording samples from the AU-AM100 mixer and the microphone kit that they actually provide. This is a generally nice overview of what's going on with the unit. Now, the way I used it, and I didn't actually stream live, but I just connected the USB-C to A cable. Uh, actually, I used the USB-C to USB-C cable to my MacBook Pro M1 kit. And I used that to record the audio samples in a subsequent video that you should check out. Links down below for that. Now, this is a pretty full-featured kit particularly for the price. Now, this is retails $200. Uh, the Kickstarter, of course, is this kit right over here, which I do believe will retail $300. Has a lot of inputs, all right? So it's got two mic inputs. It also has input for your cell phone in order to uh, allow you to play back sound effects. Uh, take in, for instance, a phone call. If you're doing a live podcast, you're going to take a phone call or you're going to do an interview over the phone as well. Um, allows you to connect instruments in here. And it's all through one eighth jack, which is really good for people who are just starting out and you don't have a lot of uh, audio equipment going on. You got a lot of quarter, uh, you got a lot of one eight jacks and they also give you two one quarter, as you'll see later, uh, two one quarter to one eight adapters. Now, none of this makes sense to you. Don't worry about it. Pretty much they got you covered for most things. The, the exception is that you're going to need something to connect your cell phone to because a lot of cell phones these days do not actually have a one eighth or regular headphone jack adapter. They've just started removing all of those. All right. So this is the kit. Of course, this is the, the Mono Caster, Mono Caster Solo Bundle and labeled the K2. As you can see, the mixer is actually a lot smaller than you would think. Um, it is, it, it's nice that it's portable. And this plays in because it also, also has a built-in battery pack. This kit in particular comes with these headphones. I'll have uh, the details about that over here. The 50 millimeter drivers, I think they sound okay. They're relatively lightweight, fairly flexible, uh, fairly comfortable enough to wear. And I think they're good for starting out. Like if you don't have a good set of stereo headphones, this might do the trick for you. Personally, uh, I've been monitoring the Apple AirPods Max is, and I just like it that way. So that's actually what I'm currently using right now as I'm recording this part of the unboxing. In here, you'll find a bunch of cables here. These are all primarily one eighth inch cables, standard headphone type jacks, but they also give you a couple.
couple of regular stereos and a couple of TRRS cables. Those are the ones with the three segments at the top. So these here are the stereo cables. And then they also have the TRRS cables, which is what you want to connect onto primarily smartphones. All right, so there's two sets of those, two sets of the regular stereo cables. It's really nice that they put this into this particular bundle so that you're pretty much good to go. So you could have output from some other audio source, uh, MP3 player, audio player, your phone. It'll connect right on through here, through these provided cables directly into the back of the Monocaster, the AU, uh, AU-100, I think. And then there's the USB-C cable. This one is a USB-A to USB-C cable. You'll use this to go ahead and charge up your Mono caster doesn't actually come with a USB power supply, but you could use any laptop. For instance, you could use that to connect directly to your laptop to either live stream uh, and use this as an audio interface. And this one comes with this $50 microphone. It feels very solid. It's complete metal construction all the way around and has an XLR adapter. You need an XLR cable, basically. So typical professional microphones use this type of thing. You're not going to be able to plug this directly to your computer. You're going to need a microphone amplifier preamp that supports phantom power, also known as 48 volt power supply. Now, as you can see, this knob over here, these two top knobs control the two microphone inputs. This is ideal a situation where you're doing an interview with at most two microphones directly into the unit because they both support 48 volt. Uh, of course, this is a solo bundle, so it comes with one. So you can adjust the mic gain up and down and also do the mix with the sliders. Nice tactile feel. There's the phone input. It's just, just a rotary knob. And you also have mute buttons down below. At the top over here, you have battery uh, to let you know what battery level you're at in case you're using it on the go and recording directly to your smartphone. And we have a pitch, which I'll demonstrate later in an upcoming video, and effect volume knob, and also monitors. And in here, we have a bunch of voice effects, which are kind of gimmicky to me because I don't really use them. And there's also a bunch of registers up there, primarily for uh, instruments. You can go ahead and see the differences between the mic and the mix. Um, if you're mixing two different sets of sounds from there, um, I didn't use the, any of the electronic um, octaves. Over here in the back, you'll see it's primarily 1 8 inch inputs. All right, there's a power button here. It has a audio denoiser, which actually works surprisingly well. It kept out the background sound. There's a USB-C interface to connect to your computer or to charge. And then you have a bunch of these other inputs here that uh, you can see here, right here on the screen to, for you to just go ahead and connect just about everything. You can connect speakers, instruments, etc., all through here. Now, there's a mix minus over there, which is useful for when you are on a phone call, all right, so that doesn't, so that the you don't hear the echo. It has two monitor outputs, which is primarily for um, the headset that is included, or perhaps you're using audio monitor speakers as well. It's pretty well constructed, I got to say. The whole thing all around is a covered by basically some sort of metal aluminum surface. It Now, while I wouldn't say it's completely pro, it definitely feels on a higher level. This is basically constructed to work pretty well, especially for the money. All right, this is not a, like a toy. Going to the bottom below the mixer, you got the mic stand case, and then you got the stand that just simply screws in like so. This will help you get a microphone stand on your desk just right away. So you screw these two pieces together, you get that uh, little mic isolator stand also included that screws up right on top. And that, of course, fits the included microphone perfectly. Of course, it is also sized relatively easy to work with uh, any number of third-party microphones, if you like. So that's a nice value um, add. And of course, these just screw on like so. And you can extend this up a couple of inches on top. So it'll fit basically most people. You get a nice XLR microphone cable. It's a low noise. It's not, I mean, microphone cables, as well as it comes, it's not going to be one of the super ultra expensive ones, but it actually sounds perfectly fine as you can find out later. 
Now, just taking a look about the construction, um, it's actually somewhat like, say, user serviceable. You don't actually have to take the microphone apart to um, put it into the microphone uh, cage thing over here, which helps isolate the sound. Um, here's a look inside the microphone. As you can see, it's nice, simple, clean. Solder points are all there. There's really not a whole lot that can go wrong with a microphone like this. But keep in mind, condenser microphones are not studio stage microphones. Uh, they actually do uh, tend to pick up a lot of noise around it, which is why the mixer has a denoise function, which has active noise cancellation. And, you know, it works pretty well. You'll see in my subsequent video that uh, the sound quality coming out of it is of course directional so that if you just point it towards one direction and try to pick up the sound from its cardiogram pattern so pick one direction and reject the others this one here though is an omnidirectional microphone this is a nice little value add i didn't expect this into the package since this is the solo bundle but this is a cardioid uh, uh sorry this is an omnidirectional microphone that can plug directly into your smartphone in order to use as a uh, microphone yeah another third-party microphone or you can actually attach it to someone else or yourself as well if you're doing an interview it actually includes two microphones this one clips directly onto the chest or basically the shirt of the other person or yourself and it can plug it right into mic two if you want to there's a nice little windscreen and over here we have the extension cable that plugs directly into the headphones um, along with one quarter inch adapters which is nice uh, it's funny that they include both of those because there are no one quarter inch jacks at all on the Maono caster at least not this model but it's it's a nice touch that they gave you those along with this carry case so you, I'll probably just put the adapters in the carry case now to attach this actually you just pull the opening a little bit apart it's just held together by a bit of friction and a little bit of tension in there and it seems to hold the microphone pretty well honestly you should get a separate mic or phone stand uh, for for most people this is probably not going to be a, a good enough for regular use unless you want to hunch over on it again it really depends on your setup now over here, you just plug in USB-C cable, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a charging light. It's red over there to indicate that it is charging, and that actually goes out when it is completely charged. Powered on, you just hold down the power button, and it turns on. You just hold it down for a couple of seconds. Likewise, you do the same thing to, to turn the unit off. These little pads all light up uh, to indicate when they've been pressed. And as I will find out later, that a lot of the sounds that are noted in the user guide and in the user manual are actually not preloaded in this Kickstarter version of the Monocaster. And you'll actually need a, a Windows PC to load that stuff on there. Uh, but the sounds are included. They're just pretty much generic sounds. And if I can see a list of what they are, I will put them here on the page itself so you can see what's included. Of course, using the software, you can go ahead and load up your own sounds or music. For instance, introductions, uh, change the applause sounds, uh, change whatever. I think they have a cricket sound in there as well. But generally, when I'm podcasting and I use this, I can see that if you're a gamer, there's stuff in there that you might want to go ahead and change just so you could press the button and uh you know some cool little fun little sound effects now you can operate this solo by itself if you want uh but for my testing when i did the recording i actually connected directly to my mac and again there are some definitely some issues right out of the box of the mac os at least in this version maybe subsequent versions uh when they sell the new updated versions and then they've already loaded a new firmware i think these are just the kickstart editions and such uh, the reason why i actually ran into uh, some of the issues that concludes this unboxing stay tuned for a demonstration of this entire kit with sound samples this is what happens when i turn on the female sound this is the male sound and this is the robot sound?